In August 2018, I traveled to India to teach music to a group of children at Sai Baba Path Public School, an educational institution in Mumbai, supported by the non-profit organization Educo. So what uh, Educo does is it's an NGO and it works in partnership with the government. And we're situated in Mumbai and we've adopted a school and we serve around 800 children in the neighboring areas. It's a tuition-free uh, English medium education from uh, junior kg right up till the ninth grade. The kids are taught uh, a lot of academic subjects such as math, science, English and we also have a focus on sports. In terms of extracurriculars right now we are still sort of building that. We don't have a drama, we don't have a music uh, sort of program at school. I, I would say the children are way too interested in music. If you were just passing by a classroom and there was no teacher, you'll always hear them sort of rapping on the tables and then someone will come in and tell them why are you making so much noise. Uh, we currently don't have any equipment for uh, the children and it would be great if something comes along because then the, I think that will be like the first step for learning how an instrument. So, yeah. And off we went, we built up a choir organized music workshops and a recording session with help from the True School of Music Mumbai, who provided a studio and the uplifting support of its students and teachers. With great enthusiasm, local singer Chandana Balakalyan crafted the melody to our song, Gamaya. Her efforts and musical input helped us bring hardcore for India to life. The work was continued in Berlin, New York and LA by visionary musicians Kurt Rosenwinkel, Becca Stevens and Ashish Khan, who built arrangements and recorded parts for this special collaboration. Gamaya is the second song in our Hardcore for the World mission. What began in Africa with Nichi Kondi continues with Hardcore for India, another musical project which strives to connect people around the world. <laughs>